This is the day for which free people long have waited. This is D-Day. Now, what do you think was the prime cause for getting us into this paper money d d drama, so to speak? Right, I think in order to understand this crisis, it's necessary to understand the role that credit has played in bringing it about. So when, when we broke the link between money and gold 40 years ago, this removed all the constraints on credit creation. And afterwards, credit absolutely exploded. In the U.S., it grew from one trillion to 50 trillion, 50-fold increase in 43 years. And this explosion of credit created the world we live in. It created very rapid economic growth. It ushered in the age of globalization. But it now seems that credit cannot expand any further because the private sector is incapable of repaying the debt that it has already. And if credit now begins to contract, there is a very real danger that we will collapse into a new Great Depression. For those of you who don't know what a pump and dump is, that's basically when uh, an, an individual or an entity that is trying to unload stock is trying to pump up the stock, in other words, trying to find buyers, trying to generate interest in the stock so that they can sell. Generally they want to try to push the price up and then sell into the rally. And it works, works best with very illiquid stocks, generally low price stocks. And that's what's going on. It's all based on this job, this very legitimate, respectable job that he can tell his friends about during the Yom Kippur appeal. But, you know, I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm so fucking close. No, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm fucking it up. I mean, I... <sighs> How are you fucking it up? I went, I went to the office, the med patent office this morning, and there isn't one. There's, it's cardboard, there's nothing. There's no employees, there's no research and development, there's nothing. I found out how Michael's making his money. We're selling stock for companies that don't exist. Do you, do you know what bridge financing is? No. Well, basically, it's a way to raise capital for a company that's trying to go public. They get money from outside investors. They're the bridge. And it's perfectly legal as long as there's no connection between the investors and the firm. But Michael's fronting his friends as the investors on every IPO we do. So that's why all the names on the contracts are the same. Right. And then he has us push it all in the open market. We're basically selling Michael's shares. And that's where the $2 rips come in. He can afford to pay us that much, and it's worth it for him because, because he depends on us to literally create the market for him. And there's no other firm selling this shit. It's all artificial demand. And then as soon as we sell off his position, there's no need to maintain the inflated price anymore. We, we stop pushing it, and then... The... And then it crashes. Right.
Inspiration. It starts as a distant rumble, resonating through every fiber of your being. Slowly, escalating until it ignites a fire in your belly that consumes you with an overwhelming sense of possibility. You eagerly embrace the journey because you care not about what you are, only about what you can be. Then, suddenly, you find yourself there, where the crowd should have been cheering. Yet so much of the mountain still looms. Your muscles ache and instead of sweet glory, you just taste the salt of your sweat. The fire in your belly replaced by the burning in your lungs. The battles you've won dwarfed by the war ahead. You could give up at that moment without judgment being passed, knowing you have done well, better than most, or you can take a moment, breathe deeply, wipe the sweat from your brow, and make the choice to take the next step forward. This moment, the moment when the effort still needed to achieve the goal becomes irrelevant. The moment when the pain becomes a reward. When your face, marred by sweat and dust and blood, can still muster a determined grin despite the seeming impossibility of it all. This moment is the moment when greatness 